What is up everyone? Today's video, we're gonna be building lower control arms. All right, so you've watched us build the uppers. You've watched us build the jigs. If you haven't, here's a link on how we build jigs here for the control arms. Now, we're gonna get rid of those ugly buggers and have matching tubes. So let's go. So as a couple of my buddies have already said, it seems like I have a jig for everything. And of course I have a jig for lower control arms. This has kind of been the process. Uh, we got to build some supports for it, but these are actually going to be our crossbars. See if I can get that thing. Well, I'll show you this other one. So here's our crossbar. It's got the centering pin so I can build off accordingly. These are already made, so. And then we've got our centering pin that actually I feel pretty smart about. We've actually made it to where I can center different sizes because really the only difference between a half ton lower control arm on a C10 and a one ton is just the ball joint. So all I do is I change out this pipe, bolt in the bigger pipe and we're ready to rock. So let's get a few more support braces going and get this show on the road. Gotta be smarter than the average bird. Okay, so what I did, I'm sure many of you were asking, is on my plasma, I actually set a disc, cut it out to the inside diameter of my ball joint pipe. What we did is we bored this out so it has about a 15 thousandths press on the ball joint, so it's not gonna go anywhere. Took my plasma cutter, cut a hole at the inside diameter and cut one that was uh, inch and a half, which this is inch, uh, I'm sorry, two and three quarter. So what I did is I cut a piece that was two and a half. That way it doesn't protrude past the outside diameter and affect the welding or any kind of fit up. So we did that, that way it creates a nice tight clamp so that whenever I do run my pipes, this ball joint's not gonna go anywhere. up and kind of held in place got both bars level what we can do now is start marking for our drop pan for the spring bucket
control arm locked up, so you can see. Next step is going to be making a trace for our spring bucket. So let's get to it. So there's a hundred different ways you can do this. Could I map it out on my CAD program? Yes. I personally go the cardboard route. Cardboard's always been good to me. Now that we got our spring bucket fit up the way we want it, we can cut it out of eighth inch. But before we do that, I'm gonna weld all my inner seams. I'm a little low on gas, otherwise we'd weld the whole thing. So let's get that welded and then we'll get our spring bucket made. We're gonna call it good for this video. So you can see, we've got our control arms made. The reason why we're gonna stop a little early is before I can make the spring buckets, I've actually got to make a press break so that I can bend the eighth inch without having to do any relief cuts. So thanks again for watching. L please like and subscribe this video. In the next video, or the one after that, one or the other, we've got a special surprise, a little build announcement we're gonna make. So stay tuned and I'll talk to you next time.